Hello friends, this video is brought to you by www.mwayteaching.com. Surface area and volume. In this chapter we start with surface area of cuboid, cube, right circular cylinder, right circular cone and surface area of sphere. Then we shall move to volume of cuboid, cube, right circular cylinder, right circular cone and of the sphere. In earlier classes, you have learned to find the surface area and volumes of cuboids, cubes and cylinder. We shall now learn to find the surface area and volumes of cuboids and cylinders in details and extend this study to some other solids such as cones and spheres. If many rectangles are stacked over one another, we get a figure called cuboid. Now suppose we have to cover this cuboid with some paper. We would require 6 rectangular pieces of paper to cover the complete outer surface of the cuboid. First we would need a rectangular piece to cover the bottom of the bundles or the cuboid then we would need four rectangular pieces to cover the sides and finally to cover the top of the bundles we would require another rectangular piece exactly like the one at the bottom which if we attach on the right side it would look like this this shows us that the outer surface of a cuboid is made up of 6 rectangles whose areas can be found out by multiplying length by breadth. For each of them separately and then adding the 6 areas together. On doing so, we get surface area of a cuboid equal to twice length into breadth plus breadth into height plus height into length. Now suppose out of the six faces of a cuboid we only find the area of four faces leaving the top and the bottom faces. In such a case the area of these four faces is called lateral surface area. It is defined as the area of four faces of the cuboid leaving the top and the bottom face. Mathematically it is given by lateral surface area of the cuboid is equal to 2 times length into height plus breadth into height which is also equal to 2 times we can take out height common length plus breadth. We must remember the formulas for surface area of the cuboid and lateral surface area of the cuboid to solve the problems in the chapter. We already know that unit for area is centimeter square or meter square or kilometer square depending on the unit in which the dimensions are given. Similarly, unit for lateral surface area and surface area is square unit that is either a centimeter square or a meter square and so on. Let us now look at a cube. A cube can also be defined as a cuboid whose length, breadth and height are all equal. If length, breadth and height are equal say a then what will 
the surface area of the cube be equal to let us substitute all the values in the surface area of the cuboid we get 2 times a square plus a square plus a square which is equal to 2 into 3 times a square which is equal to 6 a square so surface area of a cuboid whose length breadth and height are equal is given by 6 a square in other words surface area of the cube is equal to 6 a square similarly let us find the little surface area of the cuboid whose length breadth and height are equal substitute L equal to A, B equal to A and H equal to A in the formula of little surface area of the cuboid we get 2 times A into A plus A which is equal to 2 times A into 2A which is equal to 4A square so little surface area of a cube is equal to 4a square. Let us read the question. Mary wants to decorate her Christmas tree. She wants to place the tree on a wooden box covered with colored paper with a picture of Santa Claus on it. She must know the exact quantity of paper to buy for this purpose. If the box has as length, breadth and height to be 80 cm, 40 cm and 20 cm respectively, how many square sheets of paper of side 40 cm should be required? Now since Mary wants to paste the paper on the outer surface of the box, the quantity of paper required would be equal to the surface area of the box which is in shape of a cuboid. So let us find the surface area of this cuboid first. We know the formula of surface area of the cuboid is 2 times length breadth plus breadth height plus height length. Let us substitute the values. It gives us 2 times length into breadth is 80 into 40 plus breadth into height is 40 into 20 plus height into length is 20 into 80 and the answer will be in centimeter square on solving we get 2 into 5600 centimeter square which is equal to 11200 centimeter square to find how many sheets of paper will be required let us first find the area of each sheet of paper we know that area of a square is side square that is 40 into 40 centimeter square which is equal to 1600 centimeter square then number of sheets required will be equal to the surface area of the cuboid divided by area of sheet of paper which comes out to be 11200 by 1600 on solving we get 7 sheets of paper so Mary will require 7 sheets of paper to cover let us read the question Hamid has built a cubicle water tank with lead for his house with each outer edge 1.5 meters long. 
he gets the outer surface of the tank excluding the base covered with square tiles of 25 cm find how much he would spend for the tiles if the cost of the tiles is rupees 360 per dozen now it is given in the question that hamid is getting the five outer faces of the tank covered with tiles he would need to know the surface area of the tank excluding the base of the tank we know that surface area of a cube is 6a square then surface area of the cube minus the area of the base will be since base is also a square its area will be a square so surface area of the cube minus area of its base is equal to 6a square minus a square which is equal to 5a square now a is given to be 1.5 meter so let us calculate convert meters into centimeter we get 1.5 meter equal to 150 centimeters so let us substitute we get a into 5 into 150 whole square which is equal to 5 into 150 into 150 centimeter square we are not calculating this further because maybe while further calculations they may get cancelled so instead let us find the area of each square tile so area of each square tile will be 25 into 25 cm square now the number of tiles that would be required will be surface area to be covered by area of the tile which comes out to be 5 into 150 into 150 by 25 into 25 you can see now the calculations are much easier so it comes out to be 180 tiles will be required to cover five faces of the tank it is given in the question that cost of one dozen tiles is rupees 360 that is cost of 12 tiles is rupees 360 now from here we can find out the cost of one tile which is equal to rupees 360 by 12 that is rupees 30 then cost of 180 tiles will be rupees 30 multiply by 180 which is equal to rupees 